hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is alakwa janet and in today's video as you can see we have a guest in our midst and we want her to introduce yourself to us you're welcome hi everyone hi my name is deborah Danfulani. i'm a christian writer i'm an author and an editor and I'm also a project manager, a personal development coach, and a godly relationship advocate. Thank you so much. This is Kingdom Voice. Yeah, if you know Kingdom Voice, it's such an honor to have you here. And we're so glad. So from the title, today we'll be talking on relationships. And we'll be talking two-sided. Of course, relationship with God and our relationship with man. We're talking about how young people like us as this channel, you know, we talk about faith, lifestyle, and also content on growth. So as a young person, one or two experiences as a young lady in a Christian circle, you'd have experienced this thing or not. Yeah. So like a brother will approach you and tell you, God said you are the one, or a sister, most of them is the brother, because sisters are usually very shy to come and tell you God said what. Mm. So, and because Maybe I personally think, ah, this brother is a serious brother. And for him to say, God said, I'm God really said. And, and me now, I don't have a relationship with God, not knowing that I'm supposed to actually seek God for my life, for my destiny. Yeah. Going to relationship, not just a casual thing. Yeah. So that is why we have a kingdom voice, kingdom voice here. She is an advocate for godly relationship. A Facebook page, if you are following our Facebook, I'm going to link a profile facebook provider in the description so go and check it out oh some content or relationship marriage that will really change your life that will really bless you are on there so she'll be doing justice to that one the dangers of just going into relationship without having a relationship with god or without hearing from god or without being led by god more ways to enhance your relationship with god before going into a relationship so over to you ma what are the things that what are the dangers of someone, let's say, like me now, because somebody said, God said, and then okay. I ended I end up going into that relationship because the person says God said, and I didn't find out from God personally. Okay. Thank you very much for this beautiful opportunity. Well, I made a recent post yesterday on my timeline, and I stated some dangers that had caused me into such situation. And I had an experience concerning this. So first of all, I will want to say that getting involved into any kind of relationship without consulting God or without praying about it, even without hearing Him, can be so frustrating. I had an experience long time ago. I dated this man and when he came, what happened was I went into this relationship. I allowed my emotions to rule me. Hmm. Yes. My we'll talk about the emotions. Yeah. <laughs> my emotions actually ruled me, mm -hmm. and I I knew that I had God to consult, but I just went ahead and begin this relationship. And what happened was, I experienced something called lack of commitment. Mm. And you know, this lack of commitment has to do with somebody not calling you mm. in the morning to check up on you or maybe know how far you're going, what's going on. Mm. We are both dormant in the relationship. Mm. The lady will just come up doing this. We'll be like, you didn't call me today. Mm. What happened? You will say, I missed you. You refused to reply me. You know that kind of finding fault in mm. such relationships. So it was so frustrating for me. I felt very hard. And such relationships, it's very hard for you to live, except with the help of God. So you mentioned about emotions. Okay. So sometimes when feelings is already involved, I already have a crush on this person. And now this person is approaching me. Instead of me to go in with not only my heart or the emotions, yeah. I'll just enter with head and say, oh, I already like the person. But here in the kingdom, as children of God, this um, this channel is about faith and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very important, like you have said, that we to foresee the dangers that can happen. Yeah. We have a relationship with God and just not go because of our emotions. And one important thing again is concerning spirituality of the thing. Mm -hmm. I consider that also. 
I saw that this guy was a church type person. He goes to church. We had share, same shared feet. Hmm. Yes, my belief systems and his own was the same, but he was not really good for me. Hmm. He was not meant for me. But because of what I had to go into this relationship without consulting God. Hmm. And personally, I have these dealings with God. Whenever I go into something, he didn't even ask me to. Whenever he didn't even instruct me to that hmm. particular place. And you know, God don't sponsor rebellion. Hmm. Yes, hmm. whenever you disobey Word. God, there is a way he deals with you. Hmm. You'll be seeing it coming. Hmm. And you'll be like, ah, this thing is tiring. God, how will I come out from this thing? Hmm. It's very clear that you actually went into something without consulting him. Mm. So it's very important you consult God before getting into anything, even not relationship. Can you give us the steps on cultivating your relationship with God that will now help you in, before you enter a relationship? Because we've already seen the dangers of going into relationship. You said that God does not sponsor rebellion. That's yeah. word. Please write that down. <laughs> so the, the dangers now we've seen that now how someone like me how do I cultivate my relationship? What are the steps? What are the things I need to know? What are the things I need to do before going into a relationship? When it comes to the aspect of my relationship with yeah. God. Okay, the first thing to do is recognizing the person in your life. Yes, the person that owns your life, which is God. When you recognize him, you're going to have a paved way of getting to understand the clear visions he has for you and things, your desires, everything you need from God. And secondly, you must acknowledge who he is in your life. After recognizing him, you acknowledge who God is in your life. Thirdly, you will have to see God first. Yes, we all have um heart desires and the kind of persons who want to live our lives with the kind of person we want to journey in with when it comes to marriage and relationship so you have to seek god first talk to him let him be your guide and your road will be smooth then after seeking god first then you tell him the kind of person you want if you need a god-fearing person not really pouring out everything you want but your desires i know god has desires for us but at least you have to tell him god please this is the kind of person i want if you bless me with this person i will feel blessed not lucky you're going to feel blessed so i think these are the steps in cultivating relationship with god before getting into any relationship with any other person Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. So our relationship with God, to so know God first, know God, have a relationship with Him. Then talk about it. It's not bad when you talk yeah. about the person you desire to God before you actually go into that relationship. Thank you so much. Yeah. About the part of you having a relationship with God, the spiritual part, at least to some level before going into a relationship. Yeah. What are other things that, as a young lady, yeah. as a young guy, highlighted? Maybe in finance, yeah. in mentally, See, some people that. are spiritually sound. They have told God, yes. they've they have relationship with God. They talk to God every day. They are Holy Spirit like this. But there are some parts in their life that okay. they are not actually groomed well. So what are other parts to prepare for? Yes, you are very right. Talking on other parts, the person must be emotionally sound. Number mm -hmm. one, not just um, the spiritual aspect. You don't have to ignore the emotional part and the person must be financially sound or mm. financially stable mm. yes you see these two things the person must be financially How stable, financial and, stable yes <laughs> like at least even if you get something doing mm -hmm. when, when it comes to financially um, stability we're mm. talking about persons that create values mm. people that give value mm. people that build when you see people that build and mm. give value, mm. you will not at least even if they don't have something yes, in their hands, at yes, least yes. there are people who they have possess, value. Yes. yes, they possess different kind of things. And they are so, hard working. Yeah, they are hard working. Not just men that they are still under their parents, they cannot even take care of themselves. Mm. They are all dependent to their parents until mommy, you know mommy's boy, that <laughs> until mommy and daddy gives you money before yes. you're able to give your girlfriend recharge card. Mm. So these are some of the things we need to consider. And based on that part, I'm not really saying you don't go for men that are growing, men that are still building. Mm -hmm. There are some men that desire life to be better mm -hmm. for them, but they are still in the process. So coming up with people that are still in the process, you must understand their vision. Mm -hmm. Talk to them, ask them, 
questions about where they are going to, where they will be in the next five years, their dreams and whatever they want in life before you jump into it. Now coming to the emotional part, there are some persons that are spiritual but they are not, they lack um, not good kind. communication. Yes. Some persons are spiritual but they don't know how to take care of a lady. Hmm. Yes, that's on the guy's aspect. Some mm -hmm. persons are spiritual but they don't know how to talk to somebody. Hmm. So this is actually one of the important things you need to check. Mm -hmm. In that my own experience I had, this guy was so spiritual, very, very spiritual. He's huh. a pastor, self. Wow. The guy is a pastor, Man but of God. he lacks see he lacks a lot of things when it comes to this emotional aspect. Hmm. Now back to our ladies. Hmm. Ladies, when it comes to emotional aspects, I know most of us we are already emotional when it comes to ladies. We are kind, we're emotional and the rest. But you have to be more emotionally strong before you jump into any relationship. If you cannot bear anything coming your way, if you cannot bear or be able to navigate the things coming ahead of you, then you are not ready for any relationship. When it comes to financial aspects, when you're a lady, you know that one is still applicable to the other side of Yes, mm -hmm. the other guys. Not too. only the guys, yes. the, finance, the lady, lady too. Have what you are doing. Yes, because yes. it takes a lot to be in relationship. Yeah, yeah. Commitment, support, and other things. So you just have to. It's just that many of us these days, because of emotions, we are mm -hmm. jumping into relationship. We want to feel I'm more. I'm more my friends okay, are in relationship. I am now grown up. I'm a big girl. At hmm. least I should have somebody yes. I can rely on or something like that. A companion. No, those things are not really important now. You need to just focus on building yourself mm -hmm. to the desired lady you want. Mm -hmm. Create value. I had made a lot of mistakes in my life that today I have regrets on them. Hmm. And that's why I don't see speaking about relationships and sharing it to people. Hmm. There are dangers ahead, jumping into things when it's not yet time. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, when it's not yet time, jumping into things when it's not yet time. Hmm. So allow God to shape you, hmm. to groom you, then you, you'll be able to work on the process. Then when your man come, ah, the man will like, God, thank you for, for this person. Mm. Hmm. So that is just it. It just you have to contain yourself it's like you're having an empty cup you are feeling it if you feel yourself financially you're not filled emotionally you are not ready yet mm -hmm. you, your cup must be full mm -hmm. before you be able to give out that love you have in your heart it's very true yeah. yes thank you so much because you have to be wholesome yes yes from what you have said is not you're not looking for a better half yeah. you're looking for a whole human being yeah. so you self have to be whole as a human being yes. before you are ready for a relationship and it takes time it's not by age it's not by whatever it's about how long you have decided to invest in yourself yeah. and in this aspect it's so important that we balance as yes. a person as a human being yeah. thank you so much for you. your time i hope to see you again yes, she's an author of books her books where can we get your books okay you can actually get my books on seller okay yes on seller the first title is growing in grace and the other one is who will arise okay and so thank you so much for your time i hope you have learned one or two things about relationship you want to go into a relationship and see a young person take your time bible says that in the book of ecclesiastes said daughter of zion don't awake love when it's yeah. not yet the time so he, emotions are there god knows why he put them there the feelings are there but there is a time for it and again, there's a time for the it the bible talks about seeking him first in hmm. matthew 6 33 yes you must seek god first and his righteousness and all, and all other, other things. things you cannot seek all other things before seeking righteousness before seeking god hmm. you must follow it orderly yes you seek him first when you are done seeking god first then you go for his righteousness mm. then after righteousness then you go for all other things mm. and what it will be added on to mm -hmm. you so that is it so maybe some of us yeah. were looking for what we are not supposed to look for the first thing is to seek god. god yeah the best thing yes. is to seek yes. god first. <laughs> find god first yeah. know god leave relationship touch jesus, jesus. <laughs> leave sometimes it's leave money we are pursuing yes yes why yes, we yes, need yes, to yes. actually know god for ourselves have a personal and relationship build. with god and mm, build yourself grow grow in grace grow in grow and know yourself it, you, better. you know you, you, it's so good yeah. and it's so nice when you look back and you see that you've grown yeah. and when yes. you look at take a look at it you see that it has been the work of the holy spirit of course really really if you have really really surrendered to the holy spirit yeah. and you see growth 
you see that it has been the work of the Holy Spirit. I, I am I'm a testimony, I'm a witness to that. So it takes time to grow, it takes time to build, but God is intentional about your life. Yes. So before we round up, can you just pray with us or with anyone who is here watching and the person is like, ah, I don't know how to start, I don't know where to start from, I'm a young girl, I'm a young guy and the relationship it's or maybe it's not a relationship that you are seeking you are seeking if after other things but what we've heard today and from also from the word of god that we should mm-hmm. seek christ first we should seek god first the kingdom of god first okay. and his righteousness then all other things all these things that we're looking for okay. will be okay. added on so yes. can you just okay can we pray father in the name of jesus amen lord we bless you thank you for everything Lord, help us to always seek you first in everything for our lives. Amen. Lord, Father, concerning our relationships, help us to seek you deeply. Amen. Lord, help us to seek you deeply Amen. and help us to be so intentional in the choices we make. Amen. Help us never to make mistakes. Amen. Lord, help us to understand ourselves Amen. and help us to build ourselves. Amen. Help us to create more values from ourselves. Amen. Lord, help us in our growth process and Amen. everywhere we are going to touch in our lives mm-hmm. father we give you all the glory mm-hmm. now we pray for those who are going through these challenges out there and they are unable to reach out lord jesus we pray you help them mm-hmm. lord please assist their life mm-hmm. lord help them to understand and recognize your presence upon mm-hmm. their life for those who are lost in relationship mm-hmm. lord we begin to speak restoration mm-hmm. lord we pray for broken marriages mm-hmm. lord we pray that the marriage will begin to restore mm-hmm. lord we speak restorations upon the life of everyone mm-hmm. for pray to thanksgiving in jesus mighty name we pray amen. Amen. amen thank you amen. so much amen. for taking out your time to watch this very point so if you've watched to this end don't forget to like yeah. Share with someone, someone, share with someone, make sure you share with a friend and also comment and subscribe if you have done and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs>